Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be comparing these two mid-range devices, the Poco X6 Pro and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus. In the end of this video, we're going to decide which of these phones is the best and the right fit for you. So on paper, these two devices are super similar and they're also priced similarly at $320 to $350 depending on where you buy them from. But which one is the right one for you? Well, let's compare them and find out. Alright, so let's start with the build quality and when it comes to that, both of these devices have quite a lot of differences here. Now that, that is if we talk about the regular non-vegan leather bags of course. Now the Poco X6 Pro offers a nice plastic glossy fingerprint magnet bag which will always look dirty no matter what you do with it and no matter how much you clean it. While the Redmi here has a similar glass bag which fortunately doesn't attract almost any fingerprints and I am actually loving that. The Redmi also sports that IP68 dust and water resistance certificate while the Poco here offers a much more humble IP54. But I wouldn't recommend you showering with any of these devices and you should definitely keep their ugly cases on them if you want to protect them and keep them nice and safe. Both the Redmi and the Poco offer dual SIM support but no SD card support unfortunately and surprisingly the Redmi here also offers eSIM support which is always nice to see especially if you are traveling around. Talking about the displays here we have an almost identical 6.67 inch AMOLED HDR10 plus screen for both of these devices however when it comes to the Redmi here you have a curved screen giving it a more premium feel and it's also protected by the Gorilla Glass Victus compared to the Gorilla Glass 5 that we have on the Poco phone here. Both of them offer the same peak brightness at around 1800 nits and that's of course if you activate the automatic brightness because without it the phone is not gonna reach more than 1200 or 300 or something like that. But that's always great when it comes to sunny days outside and we're gonna be seeing plenty more of these, spring is coming, summer is coming. So you definitely want some devices that can handle that direct sunlight coming on them and both of these are a great choice for that. With a resolution of 1220 by 2712 pixels, both of these devices offer an amazing viewing experience. It's almost a 2K resolution and around 446 ppi density, so you can expect some vibrant and punchy colors. But let me know what you guys think, which of these devices actually have the better, the better colors? Do you think that there is any difference between them? Do let me know down in the comments, I would really like to know your opinion. So what about the speakers on these devices? Well, both of them have the same identical dual speakers, at least on paper, and I will let you be the judge of that. Now before we continue, I would like to quickly mention the sponsor of this video, Fast Comet. Now Fast Comet is a hosting company that you can use to create your own websites from blogs to shops to literally any type of project that you might have and I know that because I'm using them myself. They offer an amazing 24-7 customer and technical support that you can rely on. They are cheaper than most bigger hosting companies out there like GoDaddy, SiteGround and Bluehost. So make sure to give them a try from the link in my description below and that way you can also support me as a creator. Now let's get back into the video. Speaking about the software, we have the Xiaomi Hyper OS on the Poco X6 Pro here, while the older Red Redmi rocks the MIUI 14, which is soon gonna get updated to the Hyper OS again. Now I believe that the Hyper OS is just a simple reskin of the MIUI because the menus are almost identical and there are some things that I don't like about the Hyper OS that I really like about the MIUI and I wish that they just didn't change that. Now just to give you a quick example of what's actually changed in the Hyper OS versus the MIUI 14, for example this control center here looks slightly different 
but that's something that I actually don't like so much because here I had on the MIUI 14 an easy access to the settings menu while here on the POCO I don't have that anymore I actually have it as a separate button down here and I just can't get used to that Another thing that I think can be improved on the Hyper OS is the availability of teams. Now for the MIUI 14 you had a lot more teams going on here, while on the Hyper OS not only do you have less teams and less choice, but you also are more constricted because most of them are actually paid and that's something that I really don't like. On the old MIUI there are some paid teams of course, but there are some super nice free teams that you can use and I really love that. So I honestly hope that Xiaomi is actually going to fix this later on in the future so that we have more teams and more free teams because these teams here are awesome and I actually love Xiaomi the most because of that. Speaking about the performance, here is where there is a massive difference in favor of the POCO. We have a very powerful MediaTek Dimensity 8300 Ultra which completely obliterates the older Dimensity 7200 Ultra that the Redmi has stuck inside there. As you can see from the Antutu benchmark scores, the POCO X6 Pro has a significant advantage over the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus and unfortunately it also heats up quite a lot more than the Redmi but that's expected, the CPU is a little bit more powerful and as you can see from this Geekbench scores here there's not a big difference in single core CPU score but the multi-score CPU score is quite a bit of a dramatic difference and that translates well into gaming as well Starting off with the Redmi and yes I know I'm always throwing the heaviest game out there but there isn't any better benchmark than your good old 32GB Genshin Impact and while this game runs ok on this phone, it's only possible if the settings are not cranked up too high but kept at medium to low at best. And even so, you will still strain this poor phone well beyond its capabilities. The good thing is that there is a Xiaomi Gaming Center which is greatly optimized and definitely boosts your FPS a lot. Well, at least the, until the next gen normals Genshin update. Other games such as PUBG run flawlessly and I didn't notice any stuttering even on the highest settings so for any casual gamers the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus will definitely be plenty and oh one more thing that I forgot to mention is the great haptic feedback on this device compared to the POCO it just feels a lot more premium and the vibration motor is definitely higher quality. Switching to the POCO X6 Pro and here we have a mini beast of a gaming phone. The powerful Dimensity 8300 Ultra can run Genshin with no problems on the maximum settings and I have very rarely experienced any sort of stuttering, but it still can happen. As powerful as this chip is, it's not your Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, but for a phone of this price range you just can't complain. And for anyone wondering if they should get the 8GB or 12GB RAM version, then I'm gonna tell you, you don't need the 12GB, I'm running the 8GB one on both of these phones with 256GB of storage and that's plenty, I can assure you. In any case, both of these devices will heat up after prolonged gaming, but it's nothing too extreme and when it comes to the battery, both of these chunky boys come with an identical 5000mAh powers of battery and surprisingly, it drains equ equally as fast on both of them. I was out shooting photos and videos for this comparison and they got from 100 to 80% at the end of that and overall after using them I haven't noticed any significant difference, they will last you approximately a day and a half. That being said, the Redmi has a massive advantage here with its 120W charging compared to the 67W from the POCO, so you can expect the Redmi to be full and ready as fast as you can take your morning shower, while the POCO would need a little bit more time, so add in a cup of coffee and a sandwich to that as well. And lastly, speaking about the camera system, we have an almost identical setup on paper, with the only difference being the main shooter which is 64MP for the POCO and 200MP for the Redmi. The rest is an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro which I wish didn't exist but it is what it is. And here are some side to side photo comparison from both of these phones. And here I have many faults and looking at both of these more closely you will notice that the Redmi produces more natural colors but at the same time there is this yellowish tint in almost every photo that I've noticed every Xiaomi phone has. While POCO on the other hand boosts these colors and sharpens the images way more so it definitely applies a more aggressive software processing and I can see how some people would prefer these results, they're basically straight up ready for social media. 
do let me know what you think down in the comments i'm really interested in your thoughts and don't forget to poke this little like button down there i'm pretty sure it doesn't bite and uh, let's proceed with the video me personally, I'm very conflicted as I didn't expect the Poco to perform this well, but I believe that the Red Mist is still just a little bit ahead, especially when it comes to low light and night photos. Clearly the winner at night is the Red Mi. It retains more details and I'm loving these results from such a cheap phone. You will notice that the Poco phone not only over sharpens and over saturates, but also overexposes every single shot and that translates into the selfies as well. Redmi is the clear winner here no matter how you look at it. Moving on to the video quality and here both of these phones can record 4K up to 30fps from the back cameras which is weird because the Poco phone can definitely do 60 with that CPU but I guess you can do that only with some third party apps like Gcam or Open Camera. And when it comes to the results, they are pretty similar, but you can notice how the Poco tries to oversaturate and overexpose every single time, just like with the photos, while the Redmi comes up with a more natural video and a bit better stabilized one, so it removes some of these jitters while you are walking. And sometimes the Poco applies some magical processing or whatever and makes some videos look better than the Redmi. But that's kind of rare and the difference is minimal here, so you will be happy with both of these phones. And during night time you can't expect any of them to do well and still if you look closely the Redmi lets in a little bit more light, offers a little bit of a better video, but at this price range any phone would not do so well, so I advise you to only shoot videos still and with lots and lots of city lights around you. Alright guys, so here is the comparison between the front facing cameras, both 1080p 60fps, you have also the option of 30 but I rather keep it to 60 because of the fast motion here. Now there is no 4K option even on the Poco, even though the Poco boasts a much more powerful CPU and probably it's because of the price range but let me know what you guys think about this quality. I'll just turn around here like that, I'm out in nature, bright sunny day as you can see here and it's probably the best possible scenario. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments, which one of these phones actually wins this. Okay, so I'm right next to a street light and this is the 1080p 30fps during the night. Now I chose 30fps because it lets in a little bit more light and so it actually maximizes the quality that you can get from these two smartphones. And as you can see here, the X6 Pro is kind of a little bit better, now at least that's what it seems to me when I'm recording these two videos, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments, I would really appreciate your feedback on this, and let's proceed. So there you have it guys, two amazing phones, two absolutely amazing flagship killers. Now, I'm leaning more towards the Poco X6 Pro on this one, even though I really really like the Redmi here, but something about this Poco just... I love the fast CPU, I love how it handles everything and uh, I like the Redmi because of the camera but which one of these two devices would you pick? Please let me know down in the comments and also let me know if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to watch the separate reviews for these two devices you can click right here. Have a wonderful day, bye bye!